Verse 33, at the end of the verse, just get it clear that this is the focus. This is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. So what does that mean? It means, first of all, that from now on, now that God has become man, from now on, the Holy Spirit will come to people through Jesus Christ alone. He takes residence on Jesus so that Jesus is now qualified to be the one who baptizes his people in the Spirit, and they get it no other way. You don't go to seance, seance for this. You don't go out into nature for this. The buzz you get in nature without Jesus won't be the Holy Spirit. You don't want to even know what it might be if you reject Jesus. It comes through Jesus. The Spirit came upon Jesus, remains upon Jesus, and because of that, Jesus is the baptizer of his people with the Holy Spirit. Jesus will be the means by which the Spirit comes to anyone who gets the Spirit. You want the Spirit? You go to Jesus. You want power? You go to Jesus. You want relief from your burdens by the Spirit? You go to Jesus. Jesus baptizes in the Holy Spirit. He's not available from anyone else. He's the means. He takes away sin. And because he takes away sin, we may now be treated with this glorious mercy. The Spirit comes upon us. That's the first thing it means. Jesus is the only means by which the Spirit is mediated to us.